just wanted to show you um, the meat I bought. This is pork and um, it's $1.59 a pound so for this huge piece I paid less than $10 and I have another one that I already cut up in pieces and I'm gonna be doing the ground um, pork from it because um, to buy a ground pork or any ground meat it will cost you like twice more pound so I'm just gonna grind it myself and I'll show you later. This is my meat grinder. I have to put it together. So this part inside, um, my husband accidentally broke it. The, uh, he broke up this um, thing. Um, so, but he fixed it. So the last time the meat was on sale for a dollar forty nine, exactly the same meat. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't really grind anything because my grinder was broken, but I stocked up on it. I'll show you guys. Yeah. Oopsie. <laughs> All this. Oh, that's the ground meat now. I got this and this that I'm going to use for pulled pork later on. And then I have some in my other freezer. So this is how I, I put the meat in, in here. And it comes out this other way. So it takes a while to do it, but it saves me money, so I might do it. And I need to use my both hands, so. <laughs> okay, this is the ground meat I ended up with. It's about 13 pounds of ground meat. So I'm gonna pack some in the Ziploc baggies and freeze it. And then be some of it I'm going to uh, make meatballs and, um, you know, in order to clean out this um, meat grinder, I'm, ju I'm just going to put um, some onions in there. And because I'm too lazy to cut the onions, I'm just going to grind the onions in and it's going to clean out all the meat from there. Because I'm going to use onions in my meatballs anyways. So it's going to do um, two things, save me time and money. About... Um, pound and a half in each bag, so that's about six pounds ground meat. I'm gonna put in the freezer, and I have um, what's the name of it? Uh, meatballs getting ready, and this is all the stuff I still have to cook. Those are ready, and then I made some pasta with a lot of butter in it. Oh, actually, I wanted to show you this. This is the pasta I made. Yeah, it's very good, 100% whole grain, and it was um, on clearance for 74 cents, and the good thing was I had a 50 cents off coupon on these, and I had about 20 of them, so about a year ago I stocked up on these, I got like 20 of these for about uh, 24 cents each, and um, this um, mix of veggies and ground meat, I'm going to wrap um use it um for my burritos they're like like bean burritos but they're like veggie meat burritos kind of thing because right now i have a lot of cabbage so i wanted to use up my cabbage so there's cabbage brown i mean ground meat and then um uh, bell peppers onions uh, garlic spices salt and uh carrots I think that's all. Okay, this is how I cook, and so, so this stuff will last us about three, four days or more. And it's time to go pick up my kids from school. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye. These meals will be for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, we don't make difference whether it's morning or evening. We just basically eat the same thing. Um, after we run out of uh, cooked pasta, I might cook some rice or mashed potatoes, but I'm not going to cook any more meat. And I'm also going to make some salad later on. It's, it's got to be fresh every day. So maybe four or five days because that I'm not going to have to cook because I already spent like two hours today. So that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, guys, please leave your comments and tell me um maybe any suggestions that would be for more frugal and saving money tips how can i make it better because 
I, I don't like to cook too much and I want to uh, save my